Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So the the questions that we are considering here is related to the linear momentum equations. Given that we have a, a pipe band, so the mass flow rate of water that flows through a band, as shown in this figure, is equal to 100 kg per second. And then the pressure at inlet of the band is 10 kPa gauge. And then the pressure at exits of the band is 8 kPa gauge. And the diameter also given, D1 here is equal to 0 0.2 meter, and then D2 here is equal to 0 0.1 meter. So the diameter here is half of the diameter here. And then the gravitational force can be neglected. So we ask to find the X and Y component of the forces required to hold the band in place, and also the magnitude, as well as the angle of the result. So first of all, we have to identify and draw the control volumes. So when we want to draw the control volume, the first thing is we determine where is the inlets and the exits and make sure that at the inlets and exits, the control surface is perpendicular. So here and here. So this will be our control volume. So this is our control volume and given that the diameter here let's write it down d1 is 0 0.2 meter and the diameter here and here actually d2 is 0 0.1 meter uh, now we need to determine where's the inlets and exits so we have one inlet here call that one one and let's call this one two so the at inlet there'll be momentum flow rate coming this way Let's call that one m dot one, and then an outlet. There'll be momentum flow rate in the directions of the flow, so we call that one m dot two. So now m dot two, we need to resolve in x and y directions. So that's m dot two. So this is this angle theta. So this one will be m dot two cos theta so this one here downward is m dot 2 sine theta next we consider all the forces that's acting on this first of all of course the forces that we need to find which is rx and ry gravitational force can be neglected but we will have pressure forces so there will be pressure forces here acting here pressure is always acting towards the boundary, so the value there will be P1 gauge A1. All the other parts will be subjected to atmosphere, so the atmospheric pressure component will cancel. So we have to consider the gauge. At the exit, there will be pressure forces also, which is acting again directly sine theta. And let's also remind ourselves that the mass flow rate is given. So now we can apply the steady flow force momentum equation. The so steady flow force momentum equation. First of all, in the x direction. So write the general equation. First of all, sigma f of x is equal to m dot x out minus m dot x in. So the forces in the x directions will be the rx. This force here. And then there will also be pressure forces here. It's also acting in the positive x direction. So P1 gauge A1. But then there will be pressure component of this pressure forces here. But it's in negative x direction. So minus P2 gauge A2 cos theta. And then the momentum flow rate R will be M dot 2. So in the x direction will be M dot 2 cos theta minus the momentum flow rate at inlet. So now we can rearrange for Rx so that we can calculate Rx. So Rx equal to m dot 2 cos theta minus m dot 1 minus p1 gauge a1 plus p2 gauge a2 cos theta. So that's called that equation number 1. So we can do the same things for steady flow 
force momentum equations in the y directions. So we have sigma f of y is equal to m dot y out minus m dot y in. So the forces in the y directions will be ry. So that will give us ry. And then there will be another one which is due to the pressure force at, at outlet here. This component. So that's also in the positive y direction. So P2 gauge A2 sine theta. And then at outlet, the momentum flow rate will be this one here. But it's acting in the negative y direction. So minus M dot 2 sine theta. And at inlet, there is no component. So it's just minus 0. So rearrange for Ry. So you have Ry is equal to minus m dot 2 sine theta minus P2 gauge A2 sine theta. So that's called that one equation number 2. So next we need to calculate the um, actual value of the momentum flow rate. So m dot 1, m dot 1 is equal to the mass flow rate at 1 multiplied by velocity at 1. The mass flow rate at 1 is given, but we do not know the velocity. But we know that from the formula, m dot 1 is actually equal to rho v1 a1. So this will allow us to calculate v1. So this implies that v1 is actually equal to m dot 1 over rho a1. So we need to calculate a1. So now let's calculate A1. So that's straightforward. So A1 basically is equal to pi D1 squared over 4. So pi 0 0.2 squared over 4. That gives us area A1 is 0 0.0314 meter squared. And let us also calculate A2 because we need to find V2 as well after this. So pi D2 squared over 4. So pi 0 0.1 squared over 4. So that gives us 0 0.0078 meter squared. So now we can proceed by calculating V1 using this formula here. Since mass flow rate is given, that's 100 kilogram uh, per second. So that's 10 to the 3. A1 is 0 0.0314. That gives us V1 is 3. 0.185 meter per second and also V2 is again 100 divided by 10 to the 3 divided by area 0 0.0078 so give us the value of 12.82 meter per second so next we can calculate M1 and M2 then so M1 momentum flow rate at 1 is actually M1 V1 so 100 3.185 so that gives us 318.5 Newton then M.2 is M.2 V2 but M.2 is equal to M.1 M.1 V2 so it's 100 and the velocity is 12.82 so it's equal to 1282 Newton so now from equation 1, which is for Rx, so we get Rx, which is equal to 1, 2, 8, 2, cos 30, just substitute the value, minus 318.5, minus pressure at inlets is, gauge pressure is 10 kilopascal, 10 to the 4, 0 0.0314, that's the area plus pressure at exit is 8 kilopascal 8 times 10 to the 3 0 0.078 cos 30 and based on my calculations that we will get 1018.1 newton so now using equation 2 for ry so ry is equal to minus 1282 sine 30 minus pressure outlet is 8 kilopascal 8 times 10 to the 3 0 0.078 that's the area A2 sine 30 
so that give ry of minus 953 newton so now we have obtained the component r at and r y so now the magnitude of the force r is square root of r x squared plus r y squared so 1018.1 squared plus 953 squared so the magnitude is 1394.5 newton so the last part we are asked to find the angle so ry is this uh, downward because it's negative rx is this way and so it will be acting like that so this is the r so let's call that angle alpha so alpha is actually tangent minus 1 of so y over x so ry over rx magnitude actually since we define it there so tangent minus 1 953 divided by 1018.1 and based on my calculation that's equal to 43.11 degree so that's the end of the questions